Hey, what's up? Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2017 drama horror film. Eh, it's not really horror. Drama film. My friend Dahmer. This is an hour 47 minutes long. Like I said, excuse me, hour 49 minutes long. 2017. Uh, Mark Myers wrote and directed this. It's based off of John Backdurf's graphic novel. John Backdurf, aka Durf, was a classmate of Jeffrey Dahmer's back in the 70s. They graduated together in 1978. Um... Jeffrey's first killing was quickly after uh, graduation, like within what, like a week or so, something like that. Um, Stephen Hicks, that's the, that's, that's the name of his first victim. So this goes into the teenage year of, like a year before Jeffrey's first killing, kind of a thing. We see his interest in anatomy, we see his interest in hurting animals, we see him willingly spaz out to make people laugh like he was a class clown in the sense but awkwardly if that makes any sense there's a lot of nitpicks to it now ross lynch is fantastic and alex wolf playing durf was awesome as well oh Vin Vinny, um what's his last name he was an angel he was in mad men he plays the runner that jeffrey's obsessed with in this movie who's also the doctor there's a lot of things. It goes into Jeffrey's um, homosexuality, questioning stuff. He's friends with a gay kid in, in the school, but he's trying to hide it. It's it's interesting. It goes into his drinking. Like I know a lot of little Jeffrey tidbits. The only thing that they didn't actually show is the fact that Jeffrey had a mannequin um, that he would jerk off to all the time, but they didn't show the mannequin. Jeffrey Dahmer's a weird case when it comes to serial killer because... He always was in control of what of what was going on. You know, he even had a, a, one of his poor victims escaped, and the police literally gave him back to Jeffrey because the kid was too drugged to realize, you know, right from wrong. And then the police officer got fired, and he recently just retired because he was rehired. But it's a whole scandal on that. There's been so many different iterations of of Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, more famously within the American Horror Story, um, Devil's Night for season five, um, Hotel Cortez. It's very interesting, and I keep saying that word, but Jeffrey is a fascinating character because of how much power he had to do all of the terrible things he did to the 17 confirmed kills, but there's also been documentation that he did rape a few of his uh, fellow army men when he was overseas in, uh, in Germany. There's a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff post high school that we know about. So we didn't really know that much about Jeffrey in high school. So it's important to note that Jer that Durf, who is a cartoonist who did write a graphic novel called My Friend Dahmer, who you know was friends with with Jeffrey back in high school. It's interesting seeing that different side because all you see is this immortal character of violence, but very stoic calm. You know, we've seen his interviews a bunch of times. You know, it's very interesting because he's he's very different than Ted Bundy was. Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer are very interesting characters. I apologize for saying that word, but it's it's the best word to use, interesting. Interesting. They're both attractive young men who were able to manipulate their way into getting what they want. Ted Bundy on a female front, Jeffrey Dahmer on a male front. And to have Zac Efron play Ted Bundy and to have Ross Lynch play Jeffrey Dahmer, it's very, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say the interesting word. Damn, I said it. It's very important to note that these men were attractive and that's how they got what they wanted. They used that sense of attraction and then drugs and alcohol to subdue their prey if you will, being the predators that they are. It's creepy talking about it, but it's, it's, I'm enamored by how much power these men had to get what they want in such a negative connotation. There's a, there's something called a serial killer gene. You know, we, we they go into that hard in Riverdale and I'm happy they talk about it. Showing that Betty actually has a serial killer gene because her father, you know, Hank had the, has the gene. Um, and it's, it's, it's important to note that a lot of the serial killers do have those two serial killer genes. So what makes a serial killer kill? Is it about the control aspect? Is it about the pleasure of 
slicing and dicing. I don't know. I haven't killed anyone. So it's it's interesting seeing the different characteristics of certain serial killers. John Wayne Gacy is another serial killer, you know. Um, I'm trying to think of oh, Richard Ramirez. I'll just, we're just going down the American Horror Story list, but that's the thing. It's it's a lot of serial killers, a lot of documented serial killers are, are American. You know, you have Jack the Ripper who's English and no one knows who he actually is. But, you know, we don't see that much of a serial killer prior to their killings. So for Ross to do such an incredible job showing that stoic, poor postured, creepy demeanor of him saying I'm just like everybody else, it just gave me chills. And I don't understand how Ross did not get so much more credit than he deserved. This didn't, I I just watched this on Hulu three years after it came out. I knew this was coming out, but I was so excited, but I don't know why it didn't get as much recognition as this deserves. You know, the Ted Bundy, what was what was Zach Efron's Ted Bundy thing called? Fantastically Wicked something, I forget. Um, that got a shit ton of recognition being on Netflix and Zach got so much praise for it because he did a creepy job playing an accurate Ted Bundy. And a lot of Ted Bundy's surviving victims said how creepy Zach was because of how accurate it was of Ted using his attraction to get what he wanted. So Jeffrey was killed when he was 34 in prison. So there's no means of us asking, hey, Jeff, did you think Ross did a good job portraying you in your 18th year of life. Can't do that because Jeff doesn't exist anymore. So I don't know. It's, it's, it's a means of immortality that these men did horrific things, but everyone knows who they are just by saying the name. And a lot of it is memed nowadays, which is weird to say, but that's what a meme is. Sometimes you have to meme something horrible to get a laugh at it to try to calm yourself down. Does that make any sense? I, I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling, but I think that's the best part. You see how my demeanor is. I, I don't know where my train of thought is going right now, but that's because I'm still creeped out by watching the incredible Ross Lynch do an incredible job playing the Jeffrey Dahmer character, playing this sadistic, maniacal being who is extremely manipulative with, you know, boys and guys of an athletic build. That's another detail I remember. Didn't matter ethnicity, it was an athletic build. Jeffrey had a taste, and I dare say that in poor taste because he had a f means of necrophilia, cannibalism, and not so much taxidermy, but removing flesh from bone and putting in jars and things. It's just, I've got chills. I'm, I'm creeped out, but I have been affected in, in from, from a Jeffrey Dahmer standpoint. Um, I think what creeps me out the most about Jeff is I have mannequins, and I know... I'm just nitpicking here because the mannequin was never referenced in this movie. I have been collecting mannequins for 10 years. I, my first mannequin is Kit. He's standing over there. He's chilling in a Beacon Hills jersey. Dustin's right next to him. He's got a number six on. I don't really want to do a show and tell of like bringing the, bringing the ring light around. I think it's going to be a little weird. But I have other mannequins outside in the shed. Now, why I have so many mannequins is because I have a wall of masks. I have all these things for Halloween purposes. Like... It's just it's what I do. It scares the crap out of all these people that come over for Halloween. And it just, that's the point of Halloween. You're supposed to get scared. You must make sure you're on edge and make sure you're aware of your surroundings, things like that. Are they going to move? Are they not going to move? It's that what if. It's Halloween dot 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 what if, question mark, exclamation point. That's the cool part about it. But it always freaked me out the more I looked into Jeffrey Dahmer because I had, I had, had Kit for 10 years. He's the oldest mannequin I have. I got him January of 2010. Here we are. I'm recording this June 23rd, 2020. I've had him for almost a year, uh, for almost 10 and a half years. It's creepy. But I'm not harming animals. I'm not, you know, willingly going to drug some guy, take advantage of him, and then murder him. I, I, I have no need to do that. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing I don't have any need to do that. Otherwise, my psychopathic craziness would be in a mental ward. That was another interesting thing. We go into Jeffrey Dahmer's mom's mental health, um, the father-mother divorce fiasco, his younger brother Dave, 
um, the mom and the brother going to Wisconsin to her mom's house, the father living in a motel, but then Jeffrey was in a house by himself for quite some time, which I thought was still a little weird, but I like the backstory. I'm just still, I'm just still creeped out by watching this movie. It was just so incredible. Everyone did an incredible job. I want to know how many times I said the word incredible. So if somebody can, can, can uh, comment as to how many times I said the word incredible, pronounced incredible or incredible. Oh, no, wait. That's the same. Incredible. Incredible? No. No, it's got to be four syllables. Oh, I'm thinking of interesting. Because you can say that interesting and interesting. Three syllable versus four syllable. Interesting, interesting. So this was an incredibly interesting movie. There you go. There's my seven syllables right there. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Did you watch, my friend Dahmer? Are you as creeped out as I am? And I'm visibly creeped out. I'm even sweating. I heard that it's hot in this room, but I'm so, I'm just creeped, creeped out. I gotta I gotta watch something fun now. That's it. That's all I got. Let's discuss what you thought of Ross Lynch and Alex Wolf being friends in this one. They they were great together. Their scenes. They're two powerhouse actors. I'm I'm quite quite a fan of both of them. I loved it. Creepy as hell. I loved it. Mushi mahalo.